if I could be of help in any way. I always like to come and spend my time with you. We somehow seem to think of something great to do. You really are the most, I think that I can boast. You really are the most surprising grand. One day, Jim came to have lunch with his gran. But when he went into the kitchen, he found that she was having breakfast. Hello, gran. You're late up. No, I'm not, said gran. It's only eight o'clock. You're early. Your clock must be wrong, Gran. It says eight o'clock and it's really twelve. He stopped. Oh, sorry, Gran. It just slipped out of my hand. Never mind, Jim. Is it still in one piece? No, Gran, it's in about forty. But I'll find them. Lucky I've got my magnet with me. Put the pieces on the table, Jim. I'll have a go at putting it together later. Well, that's breakfast over, Jim. Now for lunch. We'll have jacket potatoes if you don't mind waiting. It was most people's tea time when Jim and Gran sat down to lunch. But it tasted so good it was worth waiting for. <clears throat> Almost two weeks went by before Jim came to visit his Gran again. she's got in store for me this time, he thought. Looks like she got her clock mended anyway. When he put his head round the door, he heard a loud ticking. There was a grandfather clock in the hall. And another grandfather clock in the sitting room. Hello, Jim. Shh. more like it. It had lost its chime before I fixed it. Mending that clock of mine has taught me so much about clocks, I've been busy repairing other people's too. Now that's a cuckoo clock. The cuckoo wouldn't come out. That's better. No, it isn't. But I'll soon fix that. You come out when you're told. And look at this one, Jim. This is my very own idea. I call this a grand clock. Amazing thing, clockwork, isn't it? And here's another one, what I made for you. This I call a grandson clock. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's something in the garden I want to show you. Ah, you take a look at the back. Wind him up. Go on. <laughs> oh, Gran! You are the most surprising Gran! 